how's everybody doing today? That's first and foremost. How's everybody doing today? Again, my name is Donnell Lovely. I'm a tax strategist. I help people help start and grow their business. Um, and was, uh, also, I help them save um, on their taxes uh, with different tax strategies for as cost segregation and, and uh, cost mitigation. Um, so I actually do a, a variety of different tasks when it comes to uh, helping people start and grow their business as well as getting funding. OK, so one of the things that you want to be able to be able to do once you have, you know, once you get in your business set up and getting it started. Uh, OK, understanding your niche. That's 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 the basics for for having your business and things like that. Understanding and researching your niche. Right. Also, understanding and having your problems. OK, so those are some of the basic things that you want to make sure to do. But at, in a logistical standpoint, for funding standpoints, one of the things, the number one thing you mentioned you want to do is you want to make sure you have your EIN number um, and you have the actual physical address of your location, um, not a P.O. box, not a um, not a like um, mailing mailer box or something like that. So because you want it to be able to be registered. OK. All right. So you want it to be able to be registered because you want to be able to have your your um, you know, they're going to validate and check it and make sure it's not. Um, a is a real business, right? So when you talk about funding, you might have even if you got a co-working space or something like that, um, you can have a, a legitimate business. Okay, so you don't really have to have a brick and mortar per se, but have an actual business address that you can have something you know mail forwarded to. So one of the good things that you can do is you can have a co-working space. A co-working space or a co-working mailbox gives you a physical address, a physical location for you to be able to. Uh, run your business okay um, and that means that you don't really have to pay the overhead that it costs for a business and you also can get some of those address boxes for about you know less than a hundred dollars or maybe a hundred 150 dollars um, to be able to have that set up all right so now that you got your 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 EIN number and your business uh, address set up you want to make sure you you protect yourself by if you're going to do your incorporation structure whether you're doing your your sole props or your LLCs or your S corps and things like that you want to make sure you get with somebody to understand your situation and to see the best course for you to go through um, in your in your in your journey now when you first starting off you may want to do a sole prop and things like that but as you get more uh, more experience and more liabilities you may in, uh, have incorporations or LLCs or sole props or C corps or whatever structure that you may think that may benefit your business and your your needs so that you can actually have that set up okay so that's the that's the second thing that you maybe want to do is make sure you got your addresses all together and you make sure you have um, what did I just say? Your addresses together uh, and your entity together, right? And making sure you get your stuff registered with the state. All right. So one of the things that I tell people, right, depends on what type of business you are in. Um, you cannot, you don't have to have your business registered in that particular state. What you can do is you can register your business in another state as a domestic business, but then have a registered agent in that state. Um, just to be able to take your paperwork and things like that. And then what you do in your home state is you actually register as a foreign, a foreign uh, business, and that way your your business and anything for its liabilities or any lawsuit, it has to go through the jurisdiction of the home state that you have. Okay. So for instance, right, if you have a high uh, a high business that 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 needs um that 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 you wanted to incorporate for as like a um like a um what what I want to say like a um like a credit business or or something like that um and and you not in your credit business or any type of financial business or or accounting business or something like that now you can register your business in that state but I actually register my business in a different state and I actually have my business that I'm doing with what state that I'm living in I actually register that as a foreign foreign um foreign this foreign business and that documentation maybe cost you maybe like one hundred fifty dollars or two hundred dollars, but you know, except all the legalities and things like that, when you're talking about protections, it goes from that particular state. So that person will have to go to that state and actually go by those laws in that state in order to kind of have any type of interaction with you. Okay, um, so uh, that's part of that. And also another one is to make sure you guys have some type of insurance 
or or errors and omission or or bond or something like that um, to have your business protected uh, for your sake and your client's sake. So, you know, we all make mistakes, right? We all make mistakes. So in order to you know have a costly mistake, you want to have some type of insurance um, for either errors and omission for the business that I am in the financial aspect of it. Or if it's bond thing, if you having some like damages, or or you having a bond that you have to have a bond in that particular state that you that you work in, uh, make sure you bonded and licensed and things like that, so you can have that going. All right, everything you want to make sure that you register for uh, have a Dun and Brad number. You want to make sure you have a Dun and Brad number. Dun and Brad Street is a business uh, credit bureaus, right? Dun and Brad is a business credit bureau. So what business and lenders do. They actually pull your credit report for personal as well as your business. And then once you're actually trying to establish your business credit, you got to go through Dun & Bradstreet. It doesn't cost anything to register that, but you want to make sure it all depends on what you're trying to do, right? You may try to get government funding, okay? And in order to get government funding or government contracts that, that you know, say it's, it's, it's August, October, so the government is really actually opening up the, the you know, the contract and then expanding it to more of the private sector. So if you're... You know, if you're in a transportation industry, or if you're in a commodities industry, or if you're in in, in the uh, in the cleaning industry, if you have cleaning services and things like that, you can have contracts and be awarded contracts with the government and and, and have those as contracts for you. But you got to make sure your stuff is set up correctly, and you be able to win those contracts. All right. Uh, also, you be able to um, have awarded you know different designation. It all depends if you're trying to go out the government contracts or not. Um, and that way you can have that, that piece of the pie to be able to go after. Man. And, and that is very, very lucrative. Um, if you be able to actually get certified up under one of the government entities to be able to get contracts because the con government, you know, is the, is the biggest consumer in the world. Um, so you should be able to be able to, and they have to buy from, you know, small businesses and things like that. So having your business registered, um, is part of the process to being able to get, through the process of getting funding through the government, okay? So if you're trying to get government contracts or you want to learn how to get government contract, you got to have Dun & Bradstreet, all right? And then you can be able to start building your 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 profile up on the Dun & Bradstreet so your paydex score will be higher and, they were, and be able to be able to get credit lines and, and, and 30, 30, um, net 30 accounts and things like that. Uh, also, from a lending standpoint, you want to make sure that you have, your, you know, your past two years tax returns, um, if it is personal or or if it's business, um, that you may want to have those kind of squared away. Um, and that way you can have, you know, if you got a higher pay that score, if you're also having your 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 personal and personal credit and business credit all together, um, now, you, now if your business credit is strong enough, you don't really need. Um, your personal credit to be able to to, to add, attain those issues, okay. Um, also, what, uh, what what else you, you you make sure you want to need is you want to make sure you trademark trademark your business, man. Trademark your business because I've seen so many times that people have these businesses out here and people steal them because they go and get a patent or a trade line trademark trademark um, um, from the from the, from the government and now they own rights to your business okay so make sure you protect your business and have trademarks but funding uh, like I said you want to make sure you got all your documents in order you want to make sure when you actually go to the, these particular different lenders um, that you will also be able to understand what you know what their criteria are so one of the things their criteria are is you making sure your all your addresses all your phone numbers you have a business line um, something like a 1-800 number um, if you have a 1-800 number or 877 number or something like that, um, and then you have it registered with like 411 or something like that, that can actually help, you know, legitimize your business. And now, you know, when they're looking at your website or they're looking at your, your, your profile, um, they see exactly what you got going on. Okay. And, and you know, like I said, it don't really take that long. Like I said, from start to finish, it can take anywhere between, you know, four to six months for you to have your 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 business in a position where you can actually start getting you know business credit business funding uh, and also saving money on taxes um, from from a perspective of, of your finances and, and, and things like that okay um, so understand understanding those those five things right there man actually position yourself to have business business funding uh, for your business also being able to get contracts not only from you know the individuals but the government entities because government right now 
is in their first, you know, just opened up for the new quarter, so they got a lot of money to spend, and they also have to spend money with small businesses. So if I was you, I would position myself to be able to understand what I need to do to position myself to be a part of, uh, of the contract for the government. Like I said, transportation, you know, um, um, services, businesses, anything like that, man, you also, you'll be, you'll be amazed how much the, um, the, the, um, the government, you know, has to, has to provide that type of service, okay, uh, for their companies, for their, you know, for their order, or buildings and things like that. So, like cleaning services, like aid services, like, like detail shops and, and transportations and, and moving companies and things like that, man, are huge when it comes to getting those government contracts, to you, okay? Um, so that's what, that's all I got, man. I hope this was helpful. I hope you, you know, you had some, uh, some oh, excuse me, some insight on, on, uh, understanding that those type of things right there, man. And again, uh, my name is Donnell Lovely, man. I help people save their taxes, build their businesses, and, and, and position them to, to do to do whatever their goals are, their dreams are, man. Because you definitely can do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it, Doc. All right. My name is Donnell. Y'all have a lovely day. Peace. Do you want to be able to work just four months out of the year and be able to travel the world with you and your family just like this?